Welcome back everyone, I hope you're all fantastic. The PRS DGT, in my opinion, is one of, if not the best, production guitars that money can buy at the moment. And there is one very subtle thing on this guitar that differentiates it from, say, a Makati at a similar spec or price point. And it's something that's really, really straightforward, something that I didn't even take into account when I bought this guitar because I just bought it because it's a pretty inspiring instrument. I love the way it sounds and I love the way it plays, but it's this extra volume control on here. And it seems like something that's probably a little bit inconsequential. You know, a Makati would have a master volume and a master tone control with a three-way. On the DGT, you've got a volume per pickup, master tone that you can pull up to split the coils. One obvious thing that you can do on this that's pretty sweet, say you're playing a non-master volume Marshall amp or something like that, you can use the bridge pickup all the way open for your screaming rock and roll tone, and then turn the volume control down on the neck pickup for your clean or cleaner tone like this. <laughs> that and it's pretty inspiring to have all that control underneath your fingertips. The other thing that I love about guitars that have a coil split with a middle position on the three-way is to split the coils as you probably guess and just crank both pickups up on here and you get something that's kind of chimey, pseudo telecaster, has its own thing going on. I've always liked this about the Makati style electronics so just both volumes open, middle position, coil taps, we get this. It's this really open, airy, kind of sound. It doesn't sound exactly like, say, a Tele or a Strat, but I think it's got its own character going on. So I had this guitar set up like that, and I went to roll off my neck pickup volume control to kind of kill the sound. I didn't quite roll it off all the way down, and I stumbled across this sound, which I find really, really interesting. I'm going to start with both pickups wide open. I'm going to back off the neck volume control. So I'm in the split mode on here, both pickups on, You'll hear it when it kicks in. It's a pretty unique tone. wide open jangle to something that is immediately fatter like you just kind of go past about nine or eight on the neck pickup volume and you get this wonderful alternative humbucker sound on there it's not quite the same when you're in humbucker mode so i'll let you hear both pickups together and i'll do the same thing the effect's kind of more pronounced but i think it's less desirable <laughs> That's not to say that I dislike the way it sounds when I've got the humbucker mode on. It's just a little more usable for playing rhythm guitar with both coils tapped. It's almost like an alternative kind of humbucker where if you had a humbucker pickup where the winds are slightly mismatched, you run the coils in parallel, you'd get, I'm guessing, a pretty similar sound. So that's something that I'm sure Dave and Paul thought about when they designed the guitar because it's a wonderful tone in there. It really just does give you that awesome alternative to 
your typical, you know, two humbucker rock and roll guitar. And I think it sounds really, really cool boosted as well. So I'll let you hear both wide open. I'll back off the neck pickup volume control and then I'll kick in a boost. <laughs> difference in the sort of initial attack when I just switched over to the bridge humbucker between that kind of split mode on there. I really like it. This is just something that I stumbled across. Again, I'm not saying I invented this technique because, you know, look at someone like Jimmy Page all the way back in the day with the kind of Les Paul set up with the little controls under the pit guard where you could change the phase and split the coils. And Jimmy was a real master of manipulating the guitar's onboard controls. You know, just go and watch any Led Zeppelin live clip from the early to late seventies. And you hear everything from sparkly crystal cleans, to these kind of almost fuzzed out tones. And Jimmy was doing it from the guitar. So that's the extra little fairy dust that I think makes a good instrument, a great instrument, having really usable, electronics that can kind of inspire you to find some other sounds. This isn't a new trick, like I said, so if this is something you've been doing for a million years, let me know in the comments section below. If you're a DGT owner, let me know what you love about it. If you like what I'm doing here on the channel, check the video description. There's a variety of different ways to support what I'm doing. I'll leave you all with some Michael Schenker because there's that element of like a kind of cocked wah sound going on there. Have a great day. I'll see you all next. <laughs>